Hello and welcome to today's session with Coach Carolyn. Myself, I am a Ledbetter certified instructor and a former professional golfer on the Symmetra Tour. And today we're going to talk about the chicken wing. This is a very controversial topic and a lot of people struggle with this. So I want to talk to you about what it is, why you have it and how we can get rid of it. And it's really important for you to understand the cause and effect here and why the body does this. Because let's be realistic, never did you decide, oh, I'm just going to have a chicken wing in my swing now. And that is because your body is compensating for something else you're doing. It is just a result of an action you're doing earlier in the swing. So that's what we're going to go into much more in depth today. So let's start with what is the chicken wing defined as? So the chicken wing is really defined as when you're coming through impact and you see this either on yourself, hopefully not, or you've seen it on other friends, buddies, golfers that you've seen on the range. It really is that motion of when you're coming through the, through the ball and just at impact and right after impact, you see that left arm bowing out towards the target or behind yourself. So it has this little chicken wing right here. Jordan Spieth also has a chicken wing. I know you guys are thinking it. Oh, Jordan Spieth has a chicken wing, but that's a different discussion. That is, that is, we were not going into it. Yes, he has a little bit of a chicken wing, but clearly it's working for him. Let's not apply this to us in the general golf population. So you are right, but hear me out. So now why does the chicken wing happen? And this is really, really key. The chicken wing happens because if you're looking at the club face at impact, you are able to manipulate it by bending your elbows left and right. If you just grip your club, and you're doing this with your right elbow, you see how that shuts the club face right here. See your club face is pointing dead left, it is shut. If you're pulling out your right elbow, the club face is starting to point to the right. And you don't ever want to have to manipulate your club face with your arms and hands in this impact distance, in this impact scenario right here. Really your core and your body should be driving your face angle and your path. It's all coming from here, it's never coming from here. And these, these motions here are really just compensations for something else. So I'll show you right here. If you are somebody who comes into the ball with a shut club face, and usually this happens when you're yanking it inside and come around yourself too flat, you're lifting it up and then you're throwing the club because your body knows it's got to get in front of you. You got to go out. And what happens then you're coming from the outside and you're having a path and the face is coming way too much out, um, yeah, out to in, and your face is also pointing left. So when you're in this position, you've just kind of laid it off, came across the top and come over the top here, your face is left, your path is left. What is your option? Your only option to straighten that club face right before or through impact is to do this. See what happens? Now my club face is straight, right? But this is why you're doing it. You're coming over the top and now your body's like, oh shoot, I got to straighten this up. So it does this. And then you have that chicken wing look and finish. So how do we fix this? We fix the path of the club early on in the swing. So we're fixing this by actually changing your path to a much more neutral path, not in and over but much more steep going back. I want you to really feel like you're standing this club up, have the club head weight right above your hands and then turning your shoulders and then feeling like it's dropping. Your club head is dropping a little bit down, shallowing out this, this plane right here. If you allow this to happen, going from much more steep to a shallow motion, you are now coming down into the ball at an in to out, much more into out angle. And now your face can actually come to the ball square and you don't have to do this because if you did this now, you would actually open the club face and your body isn't gonna wanna do that. It knows where the ball is. So if we're able to actually fix that path to much more upright, to shallowing it out like the pros do, we're able to come to the ball with a much more in to out path. And I'm not saying you should come to the ball into out, but it has to be much more neutral and definitely not over the top. So if you have a chicken wing, you're definitely coming over the top and you want to feel like you're standing the club up in your backswing, letting it drop the weight of the club, it drop in your downswing and being able to swing much more into out. See how that allows me to have a much more straight arm here. I'm going steeper up, shallower down, and now I can really extend through my finish and finish my swing. 
So if you've been struggling with a chicken wing and you have been seeing it on your videos, this is what you need to do. I hope you enjoyed it and give it a shot.